Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we are going to be giving this airing cupboard or linen closet a makeover. This was such a huge mess guys, I had to get it done and I'm really really happy with the transformation. So if you want to see it from start to finish then just keep watching this video. I hope you really enjoy it. Let's get started. So this cupboard here actually houses all of our linens and things like that, our towels. So it's kind of like a linen closet or an airing cupboard because it also has our boiler in here. And as you can see, it's a big, huge mess. <laughs> uh, we started making it look good. And to be honest, this did look great. Mark like put these shelves in and you know, it looked organized for a little while. We're gonna give it a little makeover. I thought we would show you the before, the during, the after, show you a few things that we're gonna do in there. Um, but yeah, this is the before, which is the big main issue. I'm gonna empty it all now. I'll show you what it's like when it's empty. And then I'll talk you through a few of the plans that we've got for this space. Okay, so this is how everything's looking at the moment. I've just got most of the stuff out of the cupboard. This is what the main part looks like. We're gonna put another shelf in here in the middle and I wanna paint all of this white so it doesn't look so, you know, it doesn't look great at the moment with all the pipes. Obviously we can't get rid of the pipes and I don't really wanna box it in because obviously we might need access to the boiler up there. So I'm gonna paint it all. And I've also got some really cute little floor tiles to put on the floor to change that up. So Mark's just taken all of the shelves out of here now and I'm going to paint it in here. This is from Home Base, and it's just a pure brilliant white matte paint. I'm actually going to put it over the pipes as well. I should probably use metal paint for that but I'm just going to see how it goes. If it doesn't go well then I can just go over it with some metal paint later on but yeah. I'm gonna get started and start painting. Okay, so I've made a start on the painting. I've got to stop now because it's bath time for the boys, but as you can see, like that's a difference up there because obviously I couldn't paint up there. So I think the pipes are actually gonna cover really well. Once I've painted it a few times, I think it will need a few coats. It's a little bit fiddly over here. I've just started this like middle section here, but I still need to do up here. So I just thought I would quickly update you, but that's the other side. So that's what it looked like before. And then you can see over here, it's looking much fresher already and less you know busy as you can see the door is so yellow so we're going to paint that as well so mark is just giving the cupboard a second coat so we've done three coats now two on the right yeah it looks better doesn't it, it looks way brighter doesn't it these pipes it. are a nightmare aren't they Look at the door though, it looks so yellow now compared to that. So the walls and the pipes have had a couple coats now, but I just got painted skirting boards, if you see they're like a cream. We always use the quick dry satin just because it's easier to work with. Gloss is a bit of a nightmare. And uh, we've had this pot for a few years now, so it's lasted really well actually. Okay, so in the next job, we're going to sort the floor out because at the moment there's no carpet in there. And I bought these peel and stick tiles from home base. Was it home base? Yeah, we yeah, home base. there randomly, didn't we? Yeah, and I saw these and they look really similar to the ones that we've got downstairs. So I thought that would look really nice and they've already got it in like a little bathroom there look and I thought it looked really cute so yeah we're gonna put those on the floor so you get 10 tiles in this pack so hopefully that'll be enough I think it will be so we'll need to like cut around this with like a Stanley knife but I think it's gonna look really cute in there this is a big moment in time yeah it's exciting get on give it some welly that's it saying that I've never even seen these things before Right, is that and you ready? Middle on the middle, yeah? Would you say that's the middle? On that line we put in there. <laughs> you what? <laughs> you better mark it out, aren't you? Uh -huh. Well, tidals do, don't they? Let's have a look. It's just I'll opposite. tell you what, little job here being a tiler, isn't it? It's straight, isn't it? Or not? Yeah, that's what we are. Hey? Cute! Lovely. So we just have another one, yeah? Just like that. <laughs> that's all you're going to see of it, actually, to be fair. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Are you a pencil? Nah. Yeah, how are you going to mark a tile? A little line. Oh, but I can't do this. This is too much. Baba. Mom? Yeah? Been under the table. Been under the table? Yeah. So 
So this is how it's looking so far. This bit here, this is the tricky part, but we're gonna silicone around that so you're not gonna see any of those bits. So yeah, Mark's just going to cut these bits for me and then I'll lay those too. We are now onto the next phase. Shelves. Mark's putting the shelves in. They look really good actually. They blend in there pretty done. Yeah, really good. Perfect size. Oh, lovely job. Lovely job, yeah. Lovely job. And then we're putting like two shelves here together to yeah. make it one thicker shelf. Okay, so this cupboard is now finished. So I thought I would show you how everything is now looking. So let me show you from afar. Super happy with how it's turned out. It's pretty much 99% finished now, I would say. So yeah, that is how it's looking. I've put all of the little baskets at the top there. We've got some smaller ones down here, some slightly bigger ones, and then one down the bottom there. So obviously I ran out of these dark brown baskets, which were from Ikea. Up here we've got girly bits. These are like miniature products up there. A pamper basket up there. And then coming further down we've got bath product. Again, this is actually empty but it's just gonna be for like miniature products. And then we've got a cleaning basket there. Coming down a bit further we have got a towel basket and then we've got another towel just on the side rolled up here because it was a bit too big to go in here. And then we've got some more towels. So we've got kind of like guest towels and then the family towels there. And then further down here, we've got some spare bedding. So I keep a lot of the bedding actually underneath our beds, but we do have spares here too. So we've got some bedding there. We've also got some more bath items, so some more spare towels, and also kind of things like the bath mats and hair towels and stuff like that. So that is what is in those baskets. These baskets here were from home base, and obviously because we have run out of those ones, I wanted something that was still gonna go nicely with it. Because they're like a nice neutral basket, I thought they worked really well in here. And then down here, we've just got this basket, which is actually an old one that we already had in here before, and this just keeps all of the toilet rolls in it. How cute is that? These little tags I bought from Amazon. I just thought the tags were a really nice little touch, and now everyone knows where everything needs to go. I think we've done a really good job considering the space. Obviously, we couldn't do too much because of the boiler. I would have liked to have covered the boiler and all of the pipes, but actually, painting them white has made a really big difference, and it looks much better. And because you've got all of the shelves now you can't really see them as much so I think it works really well let me know what you think of the before and after it's so much more organized now and I finally know where everything is and I can get into this cupboard without everything falling on top of me if you remember what it was like right at the beginning of the video I couldn't even open this cupboard so I'm absolutely thrilled with the results so thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already and if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future then please do let me know I'll see you all in my next video bye guys